God, come on. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I live on 28th Road. This is 28th Street. I think uh, you got my package. I think there's like a typo in the address. I'm just... No, I didn't get nothing. No, I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure that's it. Right there. If you could just go check. Now, hold on one second. You're lucky. This doesn't seem too expensive. I might not have given it to you. Yeah, it's not that you would want. It's just like a Dr. Doom cape. A what? It's a cape for an action figure that I got. What's a Dr. Doom? It's a toy from a comic book thing. Oh, so it's like for your kid. No, it's not for my kid, it's for me. Seems a little light for an action figure. Yeah, well, it's just a cloth cape that I purchased to add an element of realness. Oh, like dolly clothes. No, it's not dolly clothes. This is a high-end item. Seems a little curious to me. Whatever. So what are you, gay? No. I don't know, you playing with dolls seems a little strano to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gay. The way you're acting seems a little strano to me. Are you gay? Me? Yeah. Are you gay? You know, I spent my whole life judging everything. Everything I ate, everything I drank, everything I did, you know? Pink cars, mopeds, blue drinks. I even avoided certain fruits and vegetables because I didn't want that to seem gay. But never once in my life did I ask myself, am I gay? Well, I'm asking you now, are you gay? How would I know? Well, are you attracted to men? What man? Any man. Any man? Can't be any man. Has there ever been a man that you have been attracted to? Well, of course, you know, uh, Christian Bale, Ray Liotta, the Hemsworth brothers, the classics. But I'll tell you, my uh, long-term roommate is to die for. Oh, you got a long-term roommate? Yeah, he's my best friend. We lived together for 30 years. He's find you attractive. He doesn't act weird when we masturbate each other. You masturbate each other? Of course, we're best friends. We do everything together. We used to do it in separate rooms, but then we had to use the same room because his folks were staying with us, you know? And we thought helping each other out was more efficient. And it's not gay if we don't talk about it. And you know, one time, we even used each other's butts so we could still watch the game. It's a beautiful thing. But also my meme. You're gay. I don't know, one time I masturbated with two strip steaks and I didn't marry them. What are you, Stunad? Let me ask you this. Are you attracted to them emotionally? Of course, we're best friends. We tell each other everything. We share everything. You know, we share our car and IROC. We share hair gel, our bed, recipes, uh, Adidas track suits. You know, we're the same size, so it's double the pleasure, you know? Sometimes, uh, you know, we even taste food off of each other's lips. Wait, you taste each other's food off each other's lips? Yeah, you know, if he eats a little quickly, he forgets to share with me. Sometimes I want to go in just so I know how it was. And if that's gay, that means every bird in the animal kingdom is gay, and that don't sit well with me. Plus, Terry hates doing the dishes, so sharing, it helps. It sounds like you're just kissing with this added uh, food feature. Oh, no, no, no. Kissing is something you do with a woman. I'm merely tasting the lips of my best friend so I don't have to order a whole other meal. I don't know what you don't get about that. Well, do you enjoy it? Uh, it's food, stupido. Yes, I like the manj. No, I mean, uh, sexual. Sexual? Ah, well, you know, I don't get hard or nothing. But, uh, you know, I guess I feel it more in my chest, you know? Like a dark room. Hasn't seen light for a million years. And that first ray of sunlight comes in. And the turtles show up. So they can see the flowers and they start singing. And the people are singing. And Terry's singing. Everybody's singing. But nothing gay, no. What you're describing. That's love, and that's a beautiful thing. No, it's not love, and I'm not gay. Let me ask you this, can gay people have children? Yes. We had three of them. We adopted them to raise, you know, as friends, as friends do. You know, my parents got divorced when I was younger, and uh, that was hard on me, so 
when two friends do it, it's just better. You know, there's no breakup. You know, we put them through college and uh, we even let them call us dad because, you know, that's easier to say than mega roommates. Right. Let me ask you this. Do gay people take bullets for each other? Because I was in the post office two weeks ago. Some madman came in with a gun, starts shooting up the place. And right when he got to Terry, he points a gun at Terry. And I got in front of him. Took three in the chest. I was down. Paramedics came, did everything they could do. Took me to the hospital and... I didn't make it. Wow. So would a gay man die for another man? I think you know the answer to that question. What does it mean? It means it's time to go home. Who's gonna look after Terry? Terry will be okay. I'll keep my eye on him. Thank you. <laughs>